So we're getting ready to go trick or treating. I just wanted to come to you guys really quickly to show you how we made um, the boys zombie baseball costume. So really quickly, the items that you're gonna need is gonna be your glue gun, glue sticks. We just got like a little um, zombie makeup kit from Walmart. You're gonna need a baseball. We cut ours in half. Scissors, paintbrush, um, leather cord. I have rubber bands, <clears throat> some gray paint, and some gloves. And I just got alcohol wipes in case, you know, things get messy. So first thing first, what we're going to do is go ahead and do his uniform. So I'm just going to take the uniform, take my scissors, and just, we'll just clip around the neck. And then once you um, clip it, you all you got to do is go through and like tear it. Well, that piece won't let me tear, but you know, you just rip it like they've really been into the bite. <laughs> the walking dead. We're gonna do the same thing to his pants. I just put a little bit of blood already on them. I'm probably not gonna cut these pants because they're gonna be too hard to rip through anyway. So um, I have food coloring. It's just in a spray bottle, but this is what I'm gonna use for glue. I mean for blood. So. I got red food coloring. I just put it in a spray bottle and I'm just gonna lightly like color his pants. So that way is like the illusion of blue. Aiden, you can hang, hang those up and over there. So now we are going to move on. Show you. Yeah. Hang them up over there. It's not good. It'll only take them a second to dry. All right, so now that that is done, next we are gonna quickly do our bob wire. So Aiden is gonna grab the bat and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the cord. And there were so many different ways to do these guys, but I chose the easiest way because like I said, I'm making this costume literally like right before we go. Oh, what a bat. Yep, just the old wood bag. Put it down for now. I need you to hold it so I can. So once you get your cord, you cut out how much you want. I'm just using a small piece, like I don't know. Make sure maybe, easy. maybe what four feet? I don't know. So four feet. Aiden's gonna hold it at the end, pull it all the way back, right there, and then I'm just gonna twist it. Just simple twist. That's it. Simple twist. All right, the good thing is that we did trans uniform before costume before before this. So I only have to do this with one kid. So we're gonna just take the rubber band and hopefully you guys can see. You're just using the rubber band to cut off the end so 
once it is secured, then it's time to add, like you, you just have a twist here. So now we have to add the barbed wire. Well, the illusion of the barbed wire. So I'm gonna cut, I don't know, maybe three inches. inches. Not much. So once you get a little piece, you come here to the end. Hopefully you guys can see. It's a little hole in there. And you're just gonna tie it around. So I spin it around twice. Spin it around. And then you just tie it in a knot. It's literally just that simple, guys. So once you knot it, you pull. See? And then you have like the little thing. So we, of course, we're gonna go in, we're gonna clean this up, but for the sake of this, we're just gonna pull. So I'm gonna do like 10 of these. Um, so just keep watching one minute. All right, guys, so once you have done that, it should look something like this. So now what you're gonna do is you are going to take your scissors and you're gonna cut in like a slant. Cut the ends in like a slant motion. That way it gives the illusion that they're like spiky. But of course we know this is just leather cord, so it's not dangerous, very safe for the kids which is what we want. So next step is the back. So you take your back, take your glue gun. It holds really well. I don't know if it's because it's a wood back. Maybe that's why. But you just take, take the end. I don't want to get hot glue on my nails. So I'm just going to hold my scissors um, up against it. I don't know, a good 30 seconds. And yeah. So it's really good to use wood back because it sticks way easier than uh, aluminum. And I mean, you can use more than just hot glue. Um, you can do Gorilla Glue, I think. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna wrap. And I would say every, every so often, every so many inches, just add glue. Make sure it's pretty tight and then apply that pressure. All right, so you see that? We have a bob wire back. All right, so we're gonna sit back to the side, let it finish drying, and then while Aiden is getting ready, I am gonna go ahead and do the baseball. So you have to cut, you don't have to, if you have a, some better holding glue that will allow you to glue the baseball straight to your cap, by all means, we cut ours in half because number one, 
we don't want to waste baseballs. Like we use these things daily. So we cut one in half. One is on Trent's hat. This one is going on Aiden's. So we're going to do the same side, which is this side. You're just going to glue the hat, glue the um, half of the ball to the hat. And you're just taking the glue around the perimeter of the ball, just like this. Add a little glue in the middle. Doesn't have to be a lot because it holds really well. Voila. And then apply pressure. So we're gonna let this get hot. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I had so much fun doing this. This is our first DIY costume, right? Like normally we go to Party City and you know we 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 buy it. I literally probably spent fifteen dollars on all of this stuff, and I got two costumes. So it would have been it's cheaper too. So here we are with you see that it's literally stuck. All right, so next we are gonna go ahead and start with the zombie kit. Yeah, we're going to add some extra stuff. So the good thing about this kit is that it comes with the little false teeth. Don't put that on yet. It's not done drying. Here you go. So he has his false teeth. Now, I don't know about you guys, but um, they provide liquid latex. We are not going to use that because... Keep in mind, these are still kids. They still have pretty sensitive skin, especially my youngest. So we really are only using the kit for like the tattoos and the blood. I'm going to use a little bit of the eye, eyeshadow, but that's about it. All right, so y'all know how to apply a tattoo. So we are just going to cut along the perimeter of the tattoo, just like this, pretty simple, nothing fancy. Take the adhesive off, slot up. All right, so of course you're just going to place it where you want it, face down. He wants this one right here. You take your cotton ball and you just add a little water. Once the cotton ball is wet, then you just apply it on the tattoo. So dab it, I don't know, maybe a good 15 seconds. Just make sure it's good and wet. And then once you think it is, and that is on there good, which for this one, I think I'm just gonna try a little more water. And then you just take it off. And there's his scar. So we're gonna do that really quickly with all of the tattoos. So this is pretty much self-explanatory.
So we have all of our scars. Now I'm just gonna go in with the, I have my makeup brush and we're just gonna use the black eyeshadow and we'll just put yours on this side. Now we're just gonna add blood to the spots where the scars are. Um, so, I mean, the quickest way is just to take a cotton ball, and just put it all the way all the way add the blood, and then just like dab it like that. And then it really looks like it really looks like you went through something, son. Even though I haven't been through nothing like this <laughs> in my life. So I'm just using this brush to like blend it out a little. All right, so we got our tattoos, we got our blood. I am going now that the hat is. You see, it's dry. The ball is on there. It's not going anywhere. I'm just going to take some of the blood, squirt it on here. We will get that. Like jelly. It really it does. Like jelly. Well, I really like this kit because the blood is not super watery. Some of the kits that I saw, I knew were going to be really messy. But they didn't get the right one. But Walmart did not disappoint, and normally <laughs> they do. All right, so we're just gonna add some around the bottom. Like this looks like gross. Okay. Trust me. Okay, so we we have that on there. Now I'm taking the knife and just going through, move back, <laughs> and just kind of getting the hat. You know, you don't want it to look like brand new. So, like I said, a lot, all of this stuff is super old, y'all. We have had these hats. Look like thousands of years. So I'm just going over the perimeter of the hat with this um, knife to kind of rough it up a little. I'm also gonna add some gray paint. But yeah, so. You can style that however you want. You probably need to. <clears throat> and then last but not least, we are going to add the same blood to his back. Like that. Now Trent has a lighter wood back, so his shows up. Their hairs are lighter too. But yeah, you see, you can kind of see it. Like I'm they just... Like However you want to wear it. I think I like want to wear it like, like that. So literally like you just went over somebody's head with a baseball bat is what you want this illusion to <laughs> display. And the blood is still kind of like, it's going to have the wet look, okay. especially on this back. Uh, it'll make it better. Of course I did. And your last thing after the back. Ready? All right. That's all that I'm gonna add to that. All right, so that is done. We have the makeup, which is done. Mm -hmm. We have the hat, which is done. And now when we get outside, I think I'm gonna spray 
Let's see. Here you go. I'll give you that. Um, I'm going to spray them some more with the blood, with the food coloring mixture that I did. And they'll put in their teeth. And we'll be good to go. So we're done? Yep. I'm going to go grab my shoes. Yep. So, yeah. So, that's it, guys. I mean, if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them down below. Mm-hmm. I am going to add all of the items in the description down below. But yeah, that was pretty much it. It was, it literally took me 15 minutes to do Trent. Had I not been recording, it probably would have took me 15 minutes to do Aiden. I myself am not dressing up other than my little devil ear. I will show you guys the final look once we get outside. Let's go.